What's up guys, I'm Keenan Van Dusen, back with another video, this time on relativity. The topic that stumps people all over the world, the topic that explains so much about our universe, and the topic that people want to deny but can't. Many people mistake in relativity to be some crazy scientific theory that has no place in this world, but in reality, relativity is something so critical and amazing, and as a matter of fact, it even explains the science behind time travel. That's right, time travel. On a very basic level, the closer one gets to the speed of light, the slower time is for that person from the perspective of a stationary observer. Here's what I mean. Let's take a look at this video. It looks like we're moving, right? Well, let's look at the video again, but this time look at it from a different perspective. Imagine we are stationary and it's everything around us that is moving. Now watch the video again. Did you see it? Well, whether you saw it or not, my point is that according to Einstein, everything is perceived as moving or stationary from each person's perspective. This leads to the conclusion that everything is relative, even time. The only thing that is not relative is the speed of light. The speed of light is constant for everybody, no matter what they're moving or stationary. Here, let me show you. Imagine there are two people. One is standing still and the other is moving. If they both throw a ball at the same time, the ball that was thrown by the moving person will go farther because the velocity of the ball is equal to the velocity of the person plus the original velocity of the ball. But if we replace the balls with laser beams and they shoot those at the same time, the light beams will end up in the same place. This doesn't make much sense, but since nothing can travel faster than light, this happens. But in order for this to happen, one thing must change. Time. Because if we look at the final distance of the moving person to the light beam versus the final distance from stationary person to the light beam, the moving person's distance will be half what the stationary person's was. This means that from the stationary person's perspective, the moving person's clock, or time, was moving slower than theirs. Interesting, right? And the cool thing is, this applies to everything and is happening every day all around us. It's just a small change and it's unnoticeable, but it still is happening. Thank you all for listening. I hope you understood at least some of what I was trying to say, because relativity is such a big topic and there's so much to discuss. It's really quite interesting. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.